Today, Kylie, April, Nevaeh, and I are going to make chicken enchiladas for you. So we've got our meat that uh, Kylie and I cooked in a crock pot earlier. And we are going to add a little bit of salt to Oh, sorry, baby. That's your job. I am so sorry. Okay, thank you. Now, we're going to add some cheese to it. You want to add some cheese to it? Add the cheese. Add the cheese. That's right. Add a little more cheese. Good job. Okay. okay. Go ahead and stir that up. Okay. If you'll hold the baby for a second, I will show you all how you both had to roll these. Okay? okay. You're gonna take one and put it in front of you. Let's get this stirred up real good here. Yeah, it's just my arm. I don't know. Oh, what you're happened. fine. You're fine. And you're going to take a little bit of it. You're going to put it in here like this. And you're just going to roll it like that. And stick it in the pan, okay? And yes, there's going to be some like that, oh. but that's fine. Okay. All right, so you each do like that. Put a little bit more in it than that, Kylie. You want it to go all the way over to the side. You want it to have lots of meat in each one. Okay. Now roll it. It doesn't look like mine stayed rolled very good, does it? It came unrolled, but that's okay. Yep, just like that. Okay, do another. Keep going. Yeah, it will work. All right, so there's the olive in there. Now, in a little bit, when we have the sauce ready, we'll take those out long enough to put some sauce on the bottom and some sauce on top. So that's what we're going to do next is we're going to make the sauce. Logan and I are going to make the sauce, the sour cream sauce to go on the enchiladas that the girls and I just prepared. So first you're going to put about two tablespoons, well, a little less, a little bit of butter in the pan. And once that melts, then we're going to start putting the ingredients in there. And I'll hand them to you and you can saute them a little bit. Okay. We don't want them to get really mushy. We just want them to get their flavors mixed in good and release their flavors. So first thing we're going to put in there is a few of those. Not a whole lot. Just No, don't dump them all. Just a few. Like that. Half of those. About half of those. And what kind of peppers were those? Those are uh, Am uh, Anaheim. Very good. So we have onions, Anaheim peppers, and garlic in here. And we're going to saute those up a little bit, and then we're going to put in, them in the blender. Okay, once it looks like this and we have the onions a little bit caramelized, then this is when it's time to go ahead and put it in the blender. So we're going to go ahead and turn this, this side off. And we're going to go ahead and just put it all in here like this. Alright, so then we're going to also add in here from the chicken broth. And I always make a mess. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, go ahead and do that. I know you know how. So he can see you. And then once that melts, we, we want to make sure we keep an eye on it too because we don't want to... Uh, um, Burn. burn the butter. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the flour to the but melted butter. And as we melt, we're going to stir as we add it so that we don't get any lumps. 
and you don't want to add any more than a tablespoon because see it's already getting way too thick in there. We're going to have to turn down. And we just want to cook it a little bit so that we get the taste of the flour to go away. We don't want to taste the flour. We want to taste our flavors, not the flour. Like I said, you don't want to add too much flour. Okay, so now you stir well. Okay, you stir that well. I, I hold her for a second. And I'm going to add some of the about two cups of the chicken broth very slowly while you stir. Without trying to make too much of a mess. Which I am apparently incapable of doing. And also, now that that's stirred up, I'll stir up while you pour that in. All of this in? All of it in. Okay. Give me just a second. I'm gonna get this. Put all of this sour cream in. It's a 16 ounce container of sour cream. Okay, so this is about what the sauce should look like when it's done. A nice creamy sour cream sauce. Okay, so you're going to put a little bit of the sauce in the bottom. Okay. Just pour it in the bottom good. A little faster. I think they're all getting hungry. I'm so hungry. It's actually still so good. That's so impressed. And on the bottom we have the um, bono pep uh, pepper that your brother roasted for us. All right, so now we'll go, I'm going to move all of these over here. Like this, okay. Some more on top, and then I'll let you put cheese all over it, okay? Okay. Usually this is a little thicker, but that's okay. Sometimes when you have lots of help and you're trying to teach, it doesn't come out quite as thick as you'd like, but that's okay. So now, go ahead and cover the top with cheese. Okay. Easy. And if you want, you can put toppings on it, you know, like green onions or whatever, but we're not going to put any toppings on today. Okay, just like that. That's good enough. Okay. And we're going to put it in the oven for 350 degrees for about 20 minutes just to melt the cheese, and then we'll be back to show you what that looks like. So this is our chicken enchilada. Thank you for watching 4 or 5 Kitchen Chaos, and... and make sure to subscribe and like the video. And... And put a notification on to not miss a, a, a single fail. And uh, comment down below and tell us what your favorite part is.